should be able to reach an exit through these doors. Just turn the power back on so we can open them up. All right. So there are more boxes up here. Boy, that took longer than I expected. Um, so as a heads up, this is the one and only mission that... Oh boy, Brady. Um, <laughs> that is an escort mission. <gasps> Yay! Oh, dear. That is a bomb. Though, technically, a we're... Large bomb at that. Who would we track this place? Yeah. Give me a moment. Okay, so we'll run over here. Tampering with this device, or the card it's attached to could possibly trigger an explosion. Luckily, these tracks lead to a deep chasm and an underground river. But with the way the device is rigged, we're going to have to power the car's engine. Gather as many nearby dust crystals as you can find. Time is of the essence, but remember, remain calm. Right. Forget that. Just hurry. <laughs> I learned my lesson. I said to grab it as soon as the dust crystal appears. I grab it. And run over here. Yeah. Well, uh, that's a good idea because the timer hasn't even started yet. Yep. There we go. We got mm -hmm. six minutes. To yeah. Get this this stuff. is one of two levels that there is. Is there more? I'll run back there. Yeah, I'll run back there. Okay. There's. This is one of only two levels that um, has an infinite um, supply of grim. In other words, you don't complete a, a section and then move on. It just goes on and on and on. I believe this is one of only two levels that has this until you beat it, that is. So don't waste your time fighting the Grim as much as possible. I mean, you want, like, you have to in order to kind of get through, of course, but you don't want to waste your time doing that in the name of, um... If you try uh, to make it easy for yourself... You're not. <laughs> you're not going to succeed. Yeah. Oh, nuts. I started running for the crystal, and I, uh... Wrong direction? Wrong direction. That's what I'm running for. Yeah, so... This is very annoying. Again, you notice these guys, like, they're appearing. They will actually self-detonate themselves, as a heads up. And, yes, yeah, so you get all the grim types that you have encountered so far. Um... So, you want to... Yeah, you, you gotta play Bring Around the Rosie a lot here. Um, oh, ooh, ooh, bad news, bad news. I just took damage. Where's the dust supposed to be? Is it down here? I don't know yet. Yeah, it is down here. Okay. I'm going down there. I'm... I am gonna say, though, getting rid of the explosive grim does seem to help a little bit. Yes. So, I mean, those ones you can probably make an exception and yeah. get rid of those. Though, again, they will keep reappearing, so... In a lot of ways, you're fighting a losing battle, but... Yeah. Maybe it's also, it just clears them out, because it's just like... It's too... It's like... Claustrophobically fine here. Oh, shoot. I just jumped all the way down. Alright, well, actually, I'll head... Ah, the car is out of fuel. Grab more dust crystals! There. Yeah. And the dust will reappear in different spots, like there's different places for it to appear. Uh, for some reason they're making it really hard for us, this particular level. So I'm going as fast as I can. Though we're making better time, because I think we were a full minute. Whoa. What? That was weird. One of my, uh, one of my keys just froze for a minute there. I was like, what just happened? Halfway there. Keep going. Okay, so we're we're a good like forty seconds faster than last time, so Which uh which is really good news because last time we tried this we actually lost. Yeah. So no fuel left in the car. Alright, gather those dust crystals. You notice they're just appearing all over the place. All of them. Wow, that actually kinda worked out. Um, one of the Grim hit me, and yeah. I stumbled back, and because I stumbled back, I actually avoided getting hit by one of those, uh, yeah. well, another Grim, which was kind of funny. Yeah. That's good. Out of fuel. Brad, it's out of fuel. Just got it. Sweet. Just, I gotta keep looking for, like, a dust symbol, basically. Yeah, this is why everybody likes Blake. Oh, come on, are you serious? Where is... Ah, the car is out of fuel. 
Grab more dust crystals. Oh, dust is way back here. Oh, of course it is. I got it. I got it. Okay. I think. I gotta follow the map. Actually, of course. Yeah, follow the map. You see that triangle on the top left? That's for where the dust is. The white diamond is the cart. And the blue thing is Brady. In this case, it's just seeing my screen. And of course, the red are the various brims of the size. Oops. I love the music here. This is the... Uh, what is it? Red Like Roses? Yeah. Okay. I think it's Red Like Roses Part 2, technically. Alright, so... Is, is that the actual name of the song, or is it... Uh, you're yeah. Almost there. Oh. oh, it's gonna be close! Okay, so yeah, there's that... one more up here. I'll, I'll... Yeah, you go grab that one. You go grab that one. It's up the stairs. Oh, okay. I'll let you get one. Yeah, so you'll notice, of course, I've been getting 50 experience again. Hey, you left in right. This might be one of the few at levels, actually, I would say, that if someone's struggling, this action would probably be a good one for them to also help with because they're I mean if they're having trouble fighting I mean they're getting 50 experience and they're actually saving your butt so <laughs> I mean just like we got hey, it we yes! succeeded yay so we get to watch the bomb drop that's oh, a subterranean man. subterranean subterranean level oh. well I'm glad everyone was able to keep their cool and not explain would have made for an uncomfortable parent-teacher conference. Still, yes. Who reprogrammed the security network? Who set up that trap? And where in the world did the mutated Grim come from? I have several theories. They're not good news. Now, of course, it's not going to stop. Yeah, y there we go. You know that that that's actually really really funny. Um. Did you notice that all the Grim disappeared as soon as we succeeded? In yeah. <laughs> Screw this! We're leaving! <laughs> yeah. Like, the Grim were smarter than the kids in this case. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, we're done. It's like, yeah. Alright, so that was level four. Uh, below the surface. Uh, next episode, I think, is Forever Fall. But, you know, I'm not sure when we'll get to that. Uh, in fact, next week we might be going on to some Ixalan spoilers, or maybe talking about even the Iconic Masters um, spoilers. Yeah, both of those both those sets, I'm actually really excited to talk about those, because they both look extremely good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I at first I wasn't very impressed with Ixalan, yeah. and I wasn't sure what to expect from Iconic Masters, but it looks like they're actually delivering some solid quality product this yeah, time around. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. I'm, I'm I'm very happy, actually. Like, like I agree with the same thing with Ixalan. Um, yeah, is there anything else we... I mean, obviously we'll play it by ear. Maybe something else will come up that we should talk about. Also, for those who are maybe watching us, maybe in Florida, or if you're not even, hey, we're, we're praying for you. We hope you're doing okay, as well as those who have suffered through Harvey down in Texas and other places, um, as well as the Caribbean and the like. Um, stay safe. And, uh, yeah, is there anything else we want to mention? Uh, thank you for watching, it, and please hit that like button. It really helps us out a lot. And if you could share this with your friends, even if they're not into Ruby, maybe this is what gets them into Ruby. Yeah. I mean, and then you'll have one more mutual connection with your friends, and that's, <laughs> that, that, you know, that, that always helps a friendship. So, I hey. Am. That's true. Well, this is Josh. And this is Brady. And this has been the Storm Crow Show. Have a wonderful day.